On today's podcast, I want to tell you about how I almost died rafting the Snake River and what that has to do with your marriage. Stay tuned. So a couple years ago, my friends and I decided we wanted to go float the Snake River. Now, if you're not familiar with the Snake River, it's a river in Wyoming, and there's this section of the river that is super intense. We're talking like class four, class five rapids. The rapids are called Lunch Counter and Big Kahuna, and you get in the raft at the top of the river, and you raft down, and it's just like this super intense and exciting experience, and we were really excited to go do this. So we drove up to the national park, you know, we went to the drop-off area, we got into our swimsuits, we put on our life vests, and we got down to the edge of the river, and we got our big, huge, like, industrial-grade strength raft and we're all holding the side with our paddle and our instructor says all right before we get in the water we need to go through the safety precautions and he walked us through a whole bunch of different scenarios and what we do if x y or z happens like what you do if somebody falls out of the boat you know you got to lean over and you grab them by the life jacket and you bend your legs like you're in a squat and then you stand up and you hoist them back into the raft and what happens what do you do if the raft flips over you know you got to get on top of the raft and stick your paddle in and then you lean backwards and use your leverage to flop the raft back over and he walked through a whole bunch of different scenarios and as is the case In most situations like this, where somebody's going through the safety regulations for an event, most people kind of just checked out. They weren't paying attention. And I was kind of passively listening. I picked up a few things. I'd done some river rafting before, but, you know, I picked up enough. So we jumped in the raft. We started floating down the river. And our guide was, I don't know if he'd ever done it before. Like, he was just a friend of a friend. I had never met the guy before. He wasn't like an official hired guide. He was just a guy who seemed pretty comfortable in the water and at the back of the raft. And we were coming down the river, and if you've ever rafted the Snake River, there's sections that are pretty fast. And there was a point where the river turns left, and then there's a cliff right here, and it hits the cliff and then turns abruptly right. It's almost like a U-turn. And we, we came into that first turn, and we didn't hit it right. And the river picked us up and pushed us sideways, and we couldn't get enough momentum. We started paddling to try and come and and finish off the U-turn, but we didn't get it. We slammed into the side of the wall, and the river guide that was on the back of our boat that was steering our boat hit his head on the rocks, and it started to bleed, and the side of the raft went up against the side of the cliff, and it flipped upside down, and everybody got thrown out of the raft, and there were people trapped underneath it, and paddles went everywhere, and everybody was screaming, and my head popped out of the freezing cold water, and I was like, oh my gosh, what do we do? And instantly, my mind went back to the safety training that we had at the very beginning of the trip. So what I did was I I looked around to make sure everybody was okay. I threw my arms on top of the raft and I threw my paddle up on top of the raft and I hoisted myself up on top of this upturned raft and I stuck the handle of the paddle on the far side of the raft and hooked it into the ropes and I leaned back and the raft kind of went like this whoop with my leverage and flopped back over and then we started throwing everybody the gear and the people back in the boat and we made it out safely and our guide had like a big gash in his head but he was okay enough to get us down the rest of the river it made for a very intense trip but we all survived and we were okay and in large part we were okay because I was able to get the raft flipped back over and get everybody safely on board again now what does this have to do with your marriage So I think a lot of marriages suffer because when they get into an emergency situation, they don't have the tools, the resources, or the knowledge of how to handle things. Like you go into a panic mode, you go into self-preservation mode, you freak out, and you get swept down this torrential river that is life, that is conflict, that is marriage, and it can eat you alive. But what happens when you have the skills and you have the know-how and you have the tools to get back in the raft and to make yourself feel safe again and get your partner feeling safe again and ride the rapids of life together, these conflicts don't matter that much. Like they end up being inconsequential. And so my question to you is, do you have the tools that you need and do you have the training that you need that if something happens that is completely unforeseen, that you didn't plan for, that causes chaos in your marriage, that causes pain in your marriage, that causes some sort of like disruption in what you want for your marriage, Do you have the tools and the skills and the knowledge to right the raft and to get back in and to get back to a safe place and continue the adventure together? It's a really important question. Hopefully this podcast is one of your resources. But another thing that we have coming up, and my friend Laura and I do these events every couple of months. They're based off of John Gottman's Seven Principles for Making Marriage Work. 
And we have one coming up really soon. If you go to, right now the domain is utahdatenight.com, but you can join from anywhere in the world because these next couple of events are virtual events. And if you just go to that website, you'll see the upcoming event right there at the top of the page. And I'd love for you to come join us. Our goal during that event is to give you all the tools and all the resources and all the principles that you need to feel safe floating the river. So if, if something happens, if somebody falls out of the boat, if your boat gets capsized, you know how to ride it. You know how to get back into motion. You know how to get yourself floating down the river in a safe and fun way again. And that is my invitation to you. Hope you come check it out and I will catch you guys next week. Hey, really quick before you go, I wanna tell you about something that I'm really, really excited about. So my good friend, Laura Heck, who is a marriage and family therapist and a certified Gottman therapist, we get together every couple of months and we put on this amazing workshop called The Seven Principles for Making Marriage Work. It's based on Dr. John Gottman's research. It's amazingly powerful and it's designed to give you all the tools and resources and principles that you need to take your marriage from wherever it is to the next level. It's amazing. And a lot of people ask me like, who should go to this workshop? And here is my answer to that. This workshop is just like, just like a tune up for your marriage. So just like you get the oil changed in your car regularly and you probably take it in for a tune up every so often, or just like you go get a physical if you care about your body, you should probably come to a seven principles for making marriage work workshop every so often just to get a tune up on your marriage. We'll help you have some conversations about where your marriage is at, like what's going really well, maybe expose some things that could use a little bit of work and then give you the tools and principles that you need to do the work to make your marriage even stronger and even better. I want you to come visit us and come do this workshop with us. It would be amazing to have you there. Go to utahdatenight.com to figure out where the next event is going to be held. Some of them are digital, so you can attend from anywhere in the world and when it's going to be held. And we'd love to have you attend and be there with us. It's probably the only way that you get to work with me and Laura in a really close way together at the same time, other than the Epic Wives experiment. And this is a great addition to that if you've already participated in that as well. All right, guys, hope you have a fantastic day, and I hope I get to see you at a Seven Principles event very soon.